Hi, the beautiful animated slideshow with music and a video background that you are about to learn today looks like this. As you can see, all these photos come in and go out on their own. There is no clicking involved. You can have as many photos as you like and it will have the same effect. It is extremely easy to add more photos to this effect. So did you like it? Let us learn how to do this from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. Here I am on a new presentation. The first step is to insert the picture. So let us go to insert pictures. I'm going to use some of the stock images available in PowerPoint. Let us go to stock images. Of course, you can pick up any image of your choice. Let us select this image and I say insert. Now the next step is to resize it so it is somewhere in the center of the slide and then let us add an effect. So let us go to picture styles and choose this one called as double frame black. Now we need to have this picture enter the scene with a fly in animation. So let us go to animations and let us open the animation pane. Now let us choose fly in and this needs to fly in from the bottom left. So that is the second option we have. So we have this coming in from bottom left and let us increase the duration to one second. While this comes in, we also want it to spin counterclockwise. So let us select the same object, add animation, go to spin, go to effect options, say counterclockwise, and then let us have this for one second and this happens with previous. Now, when I go to slideshow, this is how it enters the scene. Beautiful, right? Now, we want this to stay on the scene for a little bit. Now, I don't want it to be remaining there in a stationary position. I want it to move a little bit. So, let us add another animation. This time, let us add motion path animation lines and it is to be going to the right. Now this is way too much of a movement. Let us select this end point and then bring it closer. Now you need to make sure that the movement is just about this much, nothing more. And after this movement happens, we want it to go back. So let us go to the animation event, go to effect options and check this auto reverse option. You don't really require smooth end and smooth start. So let us close that. And maybe if you require, maybe you can add a little bit of bounce effect and say, okay. So this goes to the right and then it goes to the left and you can see that there is a little bit of bounce. Now that is exactly what we want. And this happens after previous. Now that we have shown the image, it needs to get out of the scene so it can make way for the next one. So let us select this, go to add animation and then let us add an exit animation. This time it flies out. It needs to fly out exactly in the opposite direction. So let us go to effect options and say to top right. So that is how it leaves the scene. While it leaves, it does the exact opposite of what it did earlier and that is to spin clockwise. So let us select the same image, add animation, say spin and this needs to be clockwise and this also needs to be for one second and the previous one also is to be for one second. Now this happens with the previous and this exit animation happens after previous. Now to give you an idea of the kind of animations that are involved in this. First, this picture flies in from bottom left while spinning, stays on while moving forward and back. Then it leaves the scene by spinning and flying out to the top right. So that is the effect we are going for. When I go to slideshow, you can see on a click, the picture enters with a drama, is displayed, and then it leaves the scene like this. It's beautiful, right? Now we need to add another picture and place it right on top of the previous one. So let us select this. Press Ctrl D. Right click, change picture, 
from stock images and I'm going to choose another image. Maybe this time I'm going to choose this and say insert. Now, since I have already applied all kinds of animations to this, those animations will carry on. So I'm going to place this right on top of the previous one. Only that this time I'm going to say this happens after the previous one. So let us say after previous. Excellent. Now let us add another one. Let us press Ctrl D and then right click, go to change picture from stock images. Let us pick some other image, maybe something very emotional like say this one and insert. And in this you see that all the animations are applied and even this happens after previous so I don't even have to make that change. Now let us place this right on top of the previous one. Now when I go to slideshow the way the whole thing works is like this. On a click you can see that we have the first one shown displayed and then it goes away and automatically the second one enters the scene and it moves like this giving it a little bit of time and then the third one comes in people can enjoy the photo and then it leaves the scene so you can add as many photos as you want now there are a couple of other things that we need to do to make this even more interesting the first one is to add a video background for that let us go to insert go to video stock videos here I am choosing one of the videos that are already available in PowerPoint. You can always choose any video of your choice. I am going to choose this one because it is almost like going down the memory lane with memory bubbles and all that stuff. So let us go to insert and let us right click and send this to back. You don't really have to do anything as far as the setting goes because when you go to playback you can see that the video plays automatically and it will keep looping until stop. So we don't have to do anything to this video. The next thing we are going to do is to add music. So let us go to insert, go to audio and I'm going to pick up audio on my PC. I already downloaded a royalty free music on my computer. I'm going to select that and I say insert. Now I can leave this icon right here and choose the option called play in background. When I do that you can see that it will automatically play and it will hide during show that is the icon will hide during show. It will play across slides and it will loop until stopped. So I don't have to do anything apart from selecting this option called play in background. Now if you don't want this to disturb the view when it is in the normal mode you can always keep this icon here or you can even take it outside it doesn't really matter. Now let us see how the whole thing works. When I go to slideshow this is how the music starts and the video plays. Now I'm going to press the down arrow and that starts the animation. And you can see that the first one happens, leaves and the second one happens and this continues and I'm not going to really disturb it till the time all the videos, all the photos are shown. So that is how you create your custom slideshow with video background and music. As you can see PowerPoint is fairly user friendly. The only thing is you need to know the basics well. And to do that I have created a full length beginners tutorial called PowerPoint for beginners step by step tutorial to get started. This video already has a million views. I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and watch the video and understand PowerPoint basics so you can create your PowerPoint presentations like a pro. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.